Hello everyone, this is Rhea Shaji Matthew. I'm studying in Krista Jayanti College Autonomous. For, I'm a first year student of Masters in Social Work and my registration number is 23 MSWA 51. And today I'll be presenting on the topic Casework Practice Among Tuberculosis Patients. So first of all, we look into what is social casework. Social casework uh, is uh, one of the primary methods of social work uh, and the other two being social group work and uh, community organization. Uh, and in social work, uh, the uh, in, and in social casework, the, uh, of the worker directly deals with the individual and is concerned with the adjustment and development of the person towards having a more satisfying social functioning. And what do we mean by social functioning? Social functioning refers to the roles and responsibilities of an individual which is uh, to be fulfilled when he is in the society. In the year 1922, Mary Richmond, who is one of the pioneers of uh, social work, uh, he, she said that social casework consists of those purposes and processes which develops personality through adjustments consciously affecting individual by individual between men and their social environment. So social casework aims at bringing about changes or developments in a personality of an individual by making adjustments um, which affects the individual and which affects his social environment and which makes him to uh, uh, equip his uh, social functioning uh, well in himself. And similarly, in the year 1923, Lee defined social casework as the art of changing human attitudes. Next, we look into what is tuberculosis. Uh, tuberculosis is a potentially fatal airborne disease which is contagious. It's a contagious airborne disease which can spread uh, through cough, uh, through uh, sneezing or even uh, through acts like singing. So the germs uh, that cause tuberculosis is a type of bacteria and it mainly affects the lungs. So once the, uh, the tiny droplets uh, with the germs gets into the air, it spreads to people, it affects their lungs and from there the germs move through the bloodstream to other parts of the body like kidneys, spine and the brain. And that is how we see it affects the entire physical health of a human being. People with HIV or AIDS and other people with weakened immune systems are more vulnerable to TB than compared to the people with a typical immune system. So their weak immune system uh, makes them more vulnerable to TB than the uh, rest of the people with a good healthy immune system. Uh, TB is preventable and treatable by using antibiotics, but some forms of bacteria have... Uh, uh, become capable of fighting these antibiotics and hence they don't respond well to the treatments. Uh, so uh, like we see in the screen, you can see uh, the symptoms of tuberculosis and how it affects different parts of the body, how it affects the lungs. Next, we look into the prevalence of tuberculosis globally and in India, which means we look into some statistics. In 2011, there were an estimated 8.7 million cases of TB globally, which is equivalent to having 125 cases per uh, 1 lakh of population. And in the year 2021, eight countries accounted for more than two thirds of global TB cases, uh, India being one of the top countries with a 28 percentage of cases, Indonesia following uh, India with a 9.2 percent and then you can see the rest of the countries on the screen. Uh, according to the WHO report of, that is the World Health Organization report of 2009, India is the highest TB ridden country accounting for more than one fifth of the global incidence. Uh, uh, and you can see the two statistics that I've mentioned below that. And most of the TB statistics for India are collected by the government's National Tuberculosis Elimination Program. Uh, this uh, organization or this program then passes their uh, figures collected from the survey to the World Health Organization. Uh, these are again some of uh, the uh, statistics following uh, in India and how uh, they are collected. The WHO TV statistics for India for 2021 give an estimated incidence figure of uh, 2,590,000 cases. This is a rate of 188 cases per uh, 1 lakh of population. So this shows how much TB is prevalent in India, how much TB is prevalent 
globally and uh, how much it is needed to uh, uh, to reach out and treat this disease to work uh, to eliminate this disease despite india's engagement in various tb control activities since its first recognition through the resolution passed in the all india sanitary Con uh, conference in 1912 and the launch of the first national tuberculosis control program in 1962 it has remained a major health challenge to overcome for the indian government uh, given the public health importance of tb all governments must take an active interest in ensuring people are diagnosed early this is very necessary uh, that people are diagnosed early and hence the treatment starts earlier uh, with tb mere coverage of services is not sufficient uh, what matters more is the quality of services that is provided in both the public and private sectors uh, it uh, it is very necessary because people often go to uh, Uh, the private sectors because they believe that public sectors lack the quality hence it's very important even though free services are provided uh, the quality of the services needs to be ensured so that people can go and avail those services without having to worry about the quality next to be look into how uh, the problem solving model of perlman can be connected uh, with treating uh, patients with tuberculosis uh, the case work process uh, as we have read as we have looked in the definition before it's a progressive transaction between the professional help that is the case worker and the client helping the case worker helping the client that's a transaction happening there the client shares his problem and the case worker shares the solutions for the problem it consists of a series of problem solving operations carried with a meaningful relationship a meaningful relationship is built between the client and the case worker uh to in order to solve the problem of the case worker and produce solution so that uh, the client is uh, uh prepared to uh, stand up for himself and to uh, fight for his problems and be uh, and is prepared to uh, face the problems uh, when he faces it next time the end of this process is to so influence the client that he or she develops effectiveness so perlman defined social case work in as a problem solving model uh, wherein he says that the end of this process the that is the case work process is to so influence the client that he or she develops effectiveness in coping with the problem with the problem that they are facing and or to so influence the problem as to resolve it or to at least uh, lessen or partialize its effect that is what helen harris perlman said in 1975 that is what he thought of social case work and he gave it as a problem solving model of social case work um uh, again we can see the problem solving approach is a systematic and client centered method used by social workers to assist individuals in resolving their personal and emotional and social and practical difficulties it involves a structured process that includes assessment goal setting intervention and evaluation wherein uh, the case worker tries to understand the problem of the client tries to make the client understand his problem get a clear picture the bigger picture of what problem he is in what situation he is in and trying to help him to uh, get out of that problem to cope with that problem by providing him with the necessary resources uh this approach is rooted in the principles of person centered care where the individual's unique circumstances strengths and needs are at the forefront of the uh, intervention so according to this model uh, the uh, the case worker doesn't judge the case of the client based on the other cases that he has worked with uh every person the individualization of the person is respected here and hence uh, every person's unique circumstances and his strengths his weaknesses are uh, kept in mind while treating the individual money medical care nursery schools scholarships foster homes recreation facilities these are some of the resources that any person may need in order to resolve a given problem in his daily living and the case worker tries to facilitate these resources for his client uh next we'll be looking into the effects of uh, effects of problem solving model on a particular case and especially on the case of tuberculosis on the case of patients with tuberculosis 
The problem solving model aims at identifying the problem, breaking it down into manageable parts and establishing or limiting goals. Basically, this model helps the uh, uh, helps the patient to break down his problem into uh, parts which is manageable and easy for him to uh, uh, easy for him to manage. Uh, this model emphasizes on the present problem and aims at diluting that problem. So whatever present problem that uh, client is facing, it aims at diluting the problem, parcelizing the problem and equipping the uh, client to gain effectiveness to cope with his present problem as well as all the future problems that might come in his uh, life. The problem solving model is seen as a highly effective method in relation to working among tuberculosis patients. Uh, tuberculosis care cascade analysis show large gaps at early stages like we uh, saw before uh, uh, early intervention and early uh, uh, diagnosis and treatment is very necessary in tuberculosis which people lack uh, in, uh, uh, in in uh, according to the statistics in india people lack that early treatment and diagnosis um, and hence where promising interventions to decrease attrition are urgently needed person centered care is prioritized in the world health organization's ntv strategy when working among tuberculosis patients, the caseworker has to first help the client to see his problem effectively in that trying to help him to define the problem, whatever the problem he, uh, he is going through to define the problem, that what the problem is, causes of the problem, how the problem came into effect, uh, duration of the problem for how long the problem has been uh, in his uh, life and the factors of the problem. Uh, what factors uh, are being affected by the problem and are affecting the problem. This will help him or her to get a clearer understanding of the bigger picture. The next step the caseworker can take is to acquaint the client with persistent resources. That is provide him with the resources that he needs for, the, uh, for him to uh, fight that uh, particular uh, problem in his life. The social case workers can be of great assistance to the patients who need to find the right doctor to address specific health issues. For, for In some cases, the, uh, the client himself has no idea, especially in the rural areas, the client has no idea of what he's supposed to do ahead. So the case worker uh, helps uh, him with uh, uh, providing him information about who is the right doctor and how to approach him. For instance, at times, TB patients need radiological exams such as CT scans and MRIs um, for their diagnostic procedures. As a caseworker working among TB patients, we can assist the patients in the process of getting set up with a radiologist to provide these exams. That is one help that a, a caseworker can do for them. He or she can also find a provider who accepts the patient's insurance. If the patient is uninsured, the social caseworker. So this is all uh, the different ways in which the social caseworker can help provide the client the resources to uh, for him to equip himself. Uh, uh, the social caseworker himself or herself needs to understand the nature and the background of the problem. The caseworker can also try to look into the patient support system. So this comes into the psychological aspect of uh, uh, of the client, wherein uh, the psychological aspect is a very important uh, uh, a very important thing in uh, when dealing with the client wherein especially when the client is going through particular diseases particular kinds of diseases the client needs to have psychological support and hence the caseworker can try to look into the patient support systems according to a research conducted by researchers from state college of medicine they found that patients who had a network of support were uh, adhering to their medication better than those who felt isolated or rejected because their support systems or their families were looking after them constantly they were trying to they were uh, trying to help them take the medications and they were trying to help them reduce the tension or the anxiety or the stress that is there in their mind the caseworker can, uh, uh, and often in this way, the caseworker can also build a very meaningful relationship, a trustworthy relationship with the client, wherein the client feels uh, uh, comfortable in sharing all his troubles and sharing his uh, pain, uh, in sharing his uh, problem with the caseworker effectively without uh, hesitating without hesitating. The caseworkers can assist the patients with signing up for assistance from community agencies, work with the patients on their coping skill, which can help them to deal with the emotional implications of having TB. So this is how the caseworker can help the client. 
as in conclusion we can say that uh, the greatest gift a case work can provide to other, uh, provide to his or her client is to enable them to realize their capacities for change and growth okay so uh, one cannot however release such energies in a client unless the helper himself or herself is systematically aware to understand the nature of motivation in that person how a person feels about his situation about others about the case worker himself or herself etc so the case worker needs to understand uh, how important it is for the client to be aware of uh, uh to be aware of his uh, situation to be aware of his surroundings to be aware of his support systems to be aware of the help that is there in the society and how he can avail those resources avail that help as a case worker our uh, responsibility is to shape the person into someone who is no longer a vulnerable person the person was vulnerable earlier that is why the ca- uh, the client is coming to the case worker but uh, the responsibility of the case worker is that once the ca- uh, client comes to the case worker he is not to return back as a vulnerable person but as an equipped person who can fight his battles who can fight the problems or the issues that come in his life uh, effectively uh with his capacities with his strengths and uh with the resources that are available around him so the the role of the case worker is to make him understand his problem how he, how what his capacities are how he can fight the problem and what are the resources that are needed and also going to the extent of providing him with the resources or um uh, uh, or um uh, i, I or assisting him to connect with those people who can provide him with the resources referral services works a lot uh, in a problem service uh, or in this problem solving method uh, but as someone who is equipped with resources both economic and social in order to cope up with his or her issues effectively and to help them either resolve it or at least partialize it is what uh, like what i explain the one thing that differentiates social work from other professions is that it not only focuses on the individual but also on improving the environment surrounding him that is how social work is differentiated from other uh, other professions because social work not only focuses on the individual focuses on changing the individual but focuses also on the on his social environment uh, on his physical environment as well wherein uh, changes need to be brought in his environment so that changes can be brought also in the individual that is how social work works uh, and i thank you for uh, so this is this was my presentation on the topic of social case work among tuberculosis patients thank you for listening uh, listening to me patiently i hope uh, this was a valuable uh, session and uh, i i took references from certain books and websites uh, were some of them being social case work uh, published by um, rk upadhyay then theory and practice of social case work uh, by gordon hamilton uh, then social work psychosocial and health aspects uh social support systems uh, key in treating tuberculosis in india uh, uh, which is a website uh, from penn state health news uh, then social work in a public health tuberculosis control program uh, www.socialworker.com uh, then uh, another uh, website was blogs.worldbank.organization eliminating tuberculosis uh, then www. t and f online.com then bmc public health dot biomed central dot com uh, and these are some of the uh, references that i used to make this presentation uh, hope it was uh, an informing uh, session or uh, informing presentation i would like to thank uh, my uh, my class uh, my teacher for this subject dr vinny joyce a a uh, professor uh, who teaches social case work so thank you ma'am for this opportunity and i thank you all for listening